All right, good morning and thank you for joining us. We have Julius Randall, who officially signed his contract extension with the Knicks this morning. Julius is coming off a career season in which he was named the NBA's most improved player, second team All-NBA and an NBA All-Star. If you have a question for Julius, please raise your hand and we will call on you and unmute you. Our first question comes from Sandro Gasparro, Knicks Digital. Hey, Julius. Um, now that the extension is official, how does it how does it feel to be continuing continuing your legacy here in New York? Uh, it feels amazing. Um, it's everything uh, I envisioned. Um, you know what I what I want to be a part of uh, for the rest of my career, and you know this is a step towards that. So um, uh, it just feels really good uh, just to know that I, I'll be here for a while and. Uh, you know, just to, to just to be able to, you know, have an opportunity, um, you know, for years to put on that Knicks jersey. So it uh, feels really good. Steph Bondi, Daily News. Hey, Julius. Um, you know, I know it was uh, possible if you, um, you know, waited a year, there was a possibility of making even more money. Uh, what was what went into the locking it up now and and taking the extension this offseason? Uh, for me, um, I mean, the money, uh, was one thing, but for me, it was more about, um, you know, the, the situation as far as just my happiness, uh, the basketball situation and my family, uh, just being, uh, stable, um, being in New York, uh, and, and really just continuing to build this thing out. Um, when I when I signed here uh, two years ago, this was my vision uh, to be able to lock in something long term and, and, and you know build something from the ground up, and, and that's what we're doing. Everybody, that's what we're doing. All hands uh, on deck. That's what we're doing. So um, for me, uh, it was it was kind of like a no brainer. Uh, you know, it was a security, but uh, for me, I just truly enjoy being a Nick. Uh, at the end of the day. And um, I don't think there's a better place to win. I don't think there's a better place to uh, to win a championship than here. And uh, I want to be a part of that. And I feel like I could help be a part of that. And I feel like, um, you know, with me signing this extension, it could help, you know, Leon and those other guys get uh, pieces and continue to build the team um, to where we can have that opportunity. Ian Begley, SNY. Julius, um, did you did you kind of know like during the season that you were going to go this route, or did you have to think about it once it was presented to you and kind of weigh your options? Um, I mean, I knew it was uh, the opportunity. Uh, I had an opportunity to do so, um, but honestly, I was weighing it up. Uh, there was times where uh, you know I wanted to do it. There was times where I was like. Uh, I could wait it out, um, you know, as far as, hold on my second, as far as uh, the financial aspect of everything. Um, so, uh, sorry about that. Uh, as far as the financial aspect of everything. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I've had uh, stops along the way in my career where um, I haven't been happy playing or, you know, I understand both sides of it, uh, at how hard this game can be, uh, how hard it can be being on a team uh, where the chemistry is not right. Um, and it's tough showing up to your job every night. And for me, I, I truly enjoy showing up to my job every day, whether it was practice, uh, whether it was flying, whether it was, you know, playing the game, whatever it was, like, I, I, I truly enjoy it and I'm happy being a Nick. Uh, you know, playing in front of that, in front of the fans and everything. So, uh, I mean, long story is long winded, but uh, I went back and forth on it. But uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I wanted to win and uh, I felt like this could help us win. Um, and, you know, the stability was important as well. Jonathan Macri, next film school. Hey, Julius, uh, congratulations on the extension, first of all. Um, when it was uh, 
or the news first came out, there was some, um, I guess, uh, thoughts about uh, this increasing future flexibility for the Knicks. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, uh, how is it, uh, you know, between you and Leon and the whole team there, like, do you see this as another um, step, another block in the process of eventually building a championship contender? And, and just could you speak to that angle of it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the, the biggest thing is the, the culture. Like, uh, you know, that was part of the reason, like I said, why, why I took the deal uh, was the culture. Like, we talk to Wes all the time. He says, family is family, family business. Like, and that's really what it is. Like, uh, we're all a family. Uh, we enjoy being around each other. Uh, and we had that trust. So, uh, you know, even if I left money on the table, I trust that in the long run, it's going to pay off. I trust Leon, I trust Wes, I trust Scott, Tibbs, you know, all those guys that they're going to put us in the best possible chance, uh, give us the best possible chance and put us in the best position uh, now and in the future uh, to bring a championship to the Knicks. And, and that's what it's about. You know, I don't know if I could make that commitment anywhere else. Um, so it really speaks to the fact of uh, the culture we have here, uh, me being able to trust, you know, the guys that are helping us and, and working to get us, you know, uh, the best possible team. Um, and, uh, you know, anybody that comes in that's here, that comes in, they have to fit into that culture. And, uh, you know, Wes and Leon and, and, the, and those guys have done a great job of, um, building that atmosphere for us. Sandro Gasparro, Next Digital. So you've you've talked before about how much you enjoy the off season. Um, what are some of the things you've been that you've been working on this summer? Uh, I mean, you just gotta wait and watch, man. <laughs> I don't know if I can really give you uh, everything I've been doing, but I mean, I can tell you I've been working my ass off, bro. Like uh, putting a lot of work in. Um, you know, really just pushing myself uh, as a player physically and mentally and, uh, you know, um, keeping the constant line of communication with coach, uh, you know, what he wants uh, to see me in, improve on and stuff like that and just studying all that type of stuff. So uh, I'll be ready and come back next year a better player. Uh, but like I said, as far as specifics, man, like you just gonna have to evaluate that, I guess. <laughs> Mark Berman, New York Post. What you got, Mark? Hey, Julius. Uh, well, I was trying to ask you about the off-season moves that uh, that they pulled off with Kemba Walker and Evan. And I know you lost a, a good teammate in Reggie Bullock, so I was wondering what what and your Elf. evaluation is. Yeah, we lost two two great teammates in Reggie and Elford. Uh and we know what they brought to our team. Uh, what they brought. Uh, defensively, obviously, um, and, and you know, I think that was a part, big part of our team last year. You know, it's not just what we what we did on the court, but what we how we were off the court and how close we were really translated. So, uh, you know, it's obviously obviously tough seeing those guys go, but I feel like they're in great situations and, and will continue to thrive. Um, but obviously, with Kimba and Evan, man, it's it's uh, it's going to be huge for us. You know, those guys can really make shots. Uh, they can spread the floor, uh, make plays. Um, and I think it's going to give us a lot of firepower. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm extremely excited. And as long as we keep our main thing, the main thing, which is, um, you know, defending and playing hard every night, uh, you know, I feel like we're going to be an even better team. So I'm excited. Booch from MSG Network. Hey, Julius, what do you think about some of the young players they've added and some of the developments uh, of the young guys in Vegas? Uh, I saw Summer League. Um, so, uh, you know, um, those guys are really good. Like, honestly, I don't watch any college basketball. <laughs> so I really didn't know much about uh, any of the players. Um, but definitely when I saw those guys, man, like, they obviously compete, uh, their skill, uh, I've talked to Tibbs about him. He loves them, says they work extremely hard. They're going to fit right in. So uh, as a young player, man, that's all you can really ask for. Uh, just come in, uh, work hard, uh, try to learn as much as possible. And uh, I'll do my best to try to help them along the way. But, um, 
you know, those guys seem like they're going to really fit in and help us. And, and, and it's going to um, continue to add to, you know, our young core guys and stuff like that. So uh, I'm excited to get to work with them, uh, compete with them, and, uh, you know, just honestly just get this thing started. Steph Bondi, Daily News. Hey, Julius, I, I got two for you. Um, you know, obviously, this is um, – you're just really in the prime of your career here. Um, but, you know, what do you say to people who say – the, the season that he had was, you know, much better than what he'd done in the past. And he's not going to be as good moving forward. Um, and then the second question is um, about the Olympics. Did you, you know, was there an opportunity for you there either before or after Kevin Love dropped out? Uh, that's my dog and my son. <laughs> uh, uh, as far as the, the first question, I think people who, who would say that really just don't know about me uh, because they if you watch the my career and you watch me play every year I've gotten better so uh, that just speaks to to my mindset and who I am as a player so you think that uh, have fun with that tape um, as far as the Olympics no I never uh, I never got a call um, that uh, once Kevin got hurt they had poked around and just to see if I was interested uh, but never uh, an official offer, honestly, um, you know, they got it done. So, you know, it's extremely exciting and, and happy for, you know, uh, them representing the country the way it was, but it, it kind of would have been a tough year anyway, uh, just my wife being pregnant and stuff. But um, no, I never officially got a call, no. Jen Williams, Fox 5. Julius, I know you're not trying to give too much away, but you're coming off a season where you earned the most improved a player award and last season I excuse me the summer before last season it's been noted that you were at home watching the bubble and you got you went to work now you're as you said you're in a better situation so how do you build on that what is you know the goal this heading into this season uh just uh honestly just taking a couple things that you feel like you can improve on continue to improve the things that you don't do uh I mean that you do do well uh, just keep those sharp. Uh, we're just taking a couple of things, uh, improving on it. Um, I feel like that along with just trying my mind and um, the studying and stuff like that, uh, you know, coming back a smarter player, understanding the game even more, how teams are guarding me and, um, you know, what teams are doing and, and stuff like that, just the trends of the game. So uh, for me, um, it's a lot of different things. Uh, but, you know, I take pride in, in working extremely hard and, and not being at work. So uh, I'm confident that I'll be a better player next year as well. Ian Begley, SMY. Julius, congrats to you and your family and best of luck with the second child. Um, the, you know, for years, it seems like this is kind of a generalization, but the Knicks, have been in conversations for like the elite, whatever the elite free agent that summer might be, right. but for whatever reason that, that they haven't gotten the, the best of the best on the market. Now that you're here and committed for the premier career, do you have any interest in, in getting involved in, in talking to guys about coming here? And if you do, like, what would your kind of pitch be about the idea of joining what you guys are building? Uh, yeah, I've told them that I, if they need me to help, you know, I definitely will, will get involved and, and uh, I have no problem, um, you know, helping at all. Like at the end of the day, uh, winning is really all that matters um, in the grand scheme of things. And uh, like I said, my biggest and number one goal is to, to win a championship here in New York. So uh, whatever can help that uh happen whatever can help us as a team bring bring a championship to the city uh and if they need me to help them and, and, and get players i'm, I'm totally 100 percent uh confident we're doing that for sure we have time for two more questions our next question comes from jen williams fox 5. julius i you know i noticed you're wearing um a dmx hoodie and mm -hmm. so much has been and you're a dallas native and so much has been said about the the 
last season's team and how it really embraced the grittiness of playing in New York. How important is it to just kind of keep establishing that culture and, and being so uniquely you know, uh, New York and resonating with the fans? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's really, when you really, uh, you know, break down the heart and soul of our team and, you know, New York basketball and what it's been about, it's, it's that, you know, it's a lot of heart, uh, hustle, uh, guys who will come out, play hard every night. Uh, no matter how talented you are, uh, the fans, the city, they don't care. Uh, they want to see you, you know, work hard and, and give your best every night. And uh, that's what our team is about. Um, that's what we were about last year. That's what we continue to be about. Uh, hard nose coming in, defending every night uh, and just keep improving. And, um, you know, I think that's what we will continue to do. And our last question comes from Sandro Gasparro, Next Digital. And just to build on that a little bit, you know, we're just under two months uh, from opening night now. Just how excited are you, how excited are you to get back and, and play in front of the fans at the Garden? Uh, uh, extremely excited. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot that has to happen before that. Um, and our team will slowly but surely start to get back together and, and get to work and start to build our chemistry. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, ready to get going. Uh, if we were playing tomorrow, I'd be ready tomorrow. So, uh, you know, this is this is what I do. Uh, this is what we do. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm just excited, man. Excited to get going. All right. Thank you, Julius. Everyone have a good weekend. We'll see you guys soon. Appreciate it.